Ladies and gentlemen, it is September 29th, 2020. And I'm going to do a little drive around Norwich, Connecticut. Um, a lot of the area surrounding the NFA uh, High School, Norwich Free Academy. Um, sometimes known as the NFA area. There's a lot of historic homes around there, a lot of interesting buildings and landmarks. And let's, uh, let's take a drive and take a look. Now, I'm on Asylum Street right now, and this stop sign right in front of me is brand new. This was put in maybe a few, maybe a month ago, not that long. And people are like, whoa, what do we do? Do I stop? Do I, what do I do? I, you know, I've been driving on this road for the last 40 years and it was never a stop sign. All of a sudden, boom, there's a stop sign. And people are confused. I'm going to make some pit stops here and there. I'm going over, I'm going to go down. This is uh, the Upper Falls, if it's open. Yeah, it's open. Um... The Yannick River, which is extremely low right now due to a, you know, probably one of the worst droughts in memory. Uh, I don't know the technical statistics on it, but it hasn't rained in a long, long time. We got rain in the forecast tonight and tomorrow, which will be, uh, it's well needed and uh, it's very rare this year to have any rain. Anyways, we're uh, on kind of a bumpy road here. It's leading down to what's known as the Upper Falls section of the Yannick River. And as I look to my right, um, you can literally walk out into the area that used to be, you know, relatively deep. Uh, right now, you could probably just walk right out there and and stand up. I mean, this is... There used to be a you know, a, a power generating uh, system in that building where water was diverted from the Attic River and it kind of, I don't know, a turbine or something was uh, was moved by the water and it generated power. I'm not sure, you know, when that occurred. Early 1900s, I would assume. But I mean, you can't really see it because uh, the vantage point from this camera is not catching it, but I mean, I've lived in this town my whole life and I do not ever recall the Yannick River being this low. I mean, this is, uh, it's bone dry, basically. The, the, the waterfall is, is now just a trickle. It used to be a full force, powerful waterfall. Now it is basically, I mean, you could put a a, a glass, a drinking glass down there and and fill it up with uh, with your with your bare hand. I mean this is uh, this is incredible. I gotta get down here with my uh, stills uh, photography camera. I mean I, I gotta take some <laughs> pictures. This is uh, I mean this is monumentally uh, Dry for the Yannick River. It's a kind of a bumpy road right here, by the way. It's a dirt road. All right, let me take a let me take a right here. I'm going to be repairing the bridge on my left, but right now they got some barriers up there. It's kind of tough to see around them. All right, let's pull in. Let's let's cover some of these businesses here. This is uh, there's an orthodontist in here. Family orthodontic care. I'm just going to sweep through this parking lot. Um, the Haitian Health Foundation, which is a phenomenal charitable organization, is down to my left. I don't know if you can see it right now with this, uh, this wide-angle view on this camera, but it's a, it's a really beautiful... Uh, organization that 100% of the money that is uh, donated to that uh, charity goes to the Haitian Health Foundation 
helping people in Haiti. This is Charlie and Doug's auto service. I'm going to back out of here. I just figured I'd give you folks a glance at it. Um, a lot of people have their cars serviced by uh, Charlie and Doug. They have an excellent reputation. All right, let's take uh, let's take a right here, and I'm going to. I'm gonna go down and cover a little bit more of this uh, Yannick Falls area. I mean, it's, you know, to say falls right now with this drought is uh, is kind of a stretch. But under normal times, uh, it's probably the most beautiful waterfall in Connecticut. I, I think it's a, it's. I would match it against any any other waterfall. Okay. This new parking lot is fantastic. I come down here and park all the time, but let me pull a car up here. You can see through the fence. There's train tracks, and then straight ahead is the Yannick River, and the stones you see off there in the distance is uh, the Upper Falls. There's no water coming over that thing right now. To, to the extreme right, there is a trickle, but that's it. I mean, this is uh, this is an epic drought. I mean, there's no there's no two ways around it. Anyways, let's proceed down the road here. There's a big sign right in front of me: Yannick Falls Indian Leap. There's a little footbridge you can go over there. It's real nice. Wow, there's a lot of cars down here. At, uh, the Yannick Falls area parking lot today for some unexplainable reason. I'll just do a quick sweep through the parking lot. It's very narrow down here. People parking on the street, which just makes sense, but alright, there's... I can't really get up to it because uh, there's a bunch of cars in the way of all things. I mean, the one day I want to come down here and take a look at it on this ride, there's more cars than I've ever seen down here in my life. But straight ahead is uh, a very weak Yannick Falls. I, I have a full video up on YouTube about that. And uh, you can look at that. It's under... Uh, it's on my channel. It's on my YouTube channel. Really nice old mill houses down here. Like right in front of us there. Beautiful. Beautiful brick construction. Everybody that drives by looks at the GoPro in the front of my car. <laughs> it's kind of a, it's kind of a thing, you know. It's, it, it definitely stands out. I mean, it looks like a, it kind of looks like a black hood ornament. Let me pull in here. I mean, I'm doing a little freewheeling here today. Uh, this is. A apartment complex. It used to be an, an old mill or you know factory, and it's uh, been rehabilitated from top to bottom, and it's uh, beautiful. It has big giant windows, and I mean, it's just really, really. They, whoever did the restoration did a really nice job. I mean, Falls Mill. Backing up, you know, I tell you, oof, a little tight getting out of here, but that's okay. Um, let me take a look, okay. Falls Mill, there's a sign down here, let me give you the accurate name. Historic Falls Mill Riverfront Condominiums, okay, they're no longer apartments, they're condominiums. Private property, no trespassing, residents only. And I'm not a resident, but you know what? Let's do it anyways. We get a look at this. Uh, this mill is a big, big smokestack. Really nice down here. They, they, it's well kept. I mean. Sales and rental office. I don't know rental. You know the other thing 
the other sign said condominiums. This one says rental. So, I mean, maybe they do rent down here. There's the Yannick River. Right ahead of us. Gentleman sitting out there enjoying himself. There are the tennis courts. There's a couple of motorcycles. There's kayaks over there. There's all kind of cool stuff around here. There's a picnic area. There's a decent view of the behind the mill. Falls Mill. But anyways, uh, there that is. And um, it seems to be uh, a lot of cars down here. I don't know if it's at full capacity or not, but I would say, uh, if I were to hazard a guess, I would say it probably is. All right. Let's see here. I'm going to take a left and work my way up towards the NFA area. You know what? Let me pull into this little tiny little parking lot here just to get you a better view of that mill. We're here. Let's do it while we're here. Old walls in front of me. Probably built back in the 1800s. All right, let's see if we can turn this car around. Okay, there it is. This is a nice view. Of the Falls Mill condominiums. And over here, there's another sign that says, The Mill at Indian Leap Apartments. So maybe that's a separate section. Maybe it isn't one owner. Maybe there's condos and apartments. All right, let's uh, let's proceed. Look at that! Look at that beautiful brick building. Looks like a two-family, either apartment complex or condominium. Take a right on Sachem Street. What do we have? Norwich Endocrinology. There's lawyers, uh, law offices to my right, um, chiropractor to my left, Norwich Free Academy, building of some sort to my right, Green Dental Group to my left. General Pediatrics to my left, Sachem Terrace, a small road to my right, Sachem Home to my left, Blackstone Apartments to my left. This is the NFA area. To my right used to be the Masonic Temple, now it's, uh, I think it's a sacred ground or something, uh, either Foxwood or the Mohegan Sun. Owns that property, and there's monuments out there. All right, there's a look at NFA. I don't, I don't actually think I can go into the campus of NFA. Um, Slater Museum there, the big tower, Park Congregational Church to the right. I don't think I can go in NFA. I'll, I'll, I'll take a look, but class is in session, and there might be a guy sitting there, uh, you know, checking in the cars and like show your ID in this type of situation. And the fact that I got a camera magnetically attached to the front of my car, I think it's going to, uh, let's just say it might raise a little bit of suspicion. I'd love to drive in there. Let me, let me tip a glance over there. I, I just don't think it's, uh, I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, visitor check-in, forget it. And people with masks on. Obviously, because uh, we're in the middle of a global pandemic. Uh, the COVID-19 coronavirus is, uh, it's killed a million people worldwide already. And there's no cure, there's no vaccine. If you get it, you can survive. Or you can die. 
It's a very, very serious pandemic and a very serious situation. This is part of Reynolds Road, I believe. Um, in the NFA area. Let's go down Coles Court. This is a dead end, but you know, we're here, why not? We gotta cover the territory. We're doc I'm documenting uh, I'm documenting the area, so wow, look at that. Really nice home right there. Alright, we'll back up a little bit. And that's uh, probably I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this is the only time in history that a guy with a camera attached to the front hood of his vehicle drove down that road. Straight ahead is Ross Adult Daycare Center. Various NFA students walking around. I'm going to take a right onto Rockwell Street. It's kind of a cloudy day, but the sun, uh, you know, it's trying to peek out here and there. Let's go down Crescent Street. Everybody loves my GoPro. <laughs> this is a GoPro. The camera on the front of this car is a little GoPro. It, uh, it's kind of a magnet for intention. I, I, the kids love it, apparently. They seem really uh, fascinated with this thing when I drive around. All right, let's take a left. Down Chelsea Parade. To the right is Chelsea Parade. Uh, the Rose Arts Festival was held there for decades, a long time ago. They haven't really done a full-blown, you know, they, they do them now, but back in the old days, they had a big tent. It was like a carnival tent. And they had, uh, you know, they had Stevie Ray Vaughan play there, Tony Orlando, and Dawn played there, Bobby Vinton. I mean, they had, they had the best of the best. Charlie Dan, they had orchestras there, they had... I mean, I, I can't, Sam can't, I, I, I can't even begin to list the people that played there that were, you know, really nationally known figures. I mean, Kenny Rogers, it, it's Mac David, it goes on and on. I can't, I, I, I don't, if I, I'd have to spend the next hour and a half listing the people that, uh, that played there that were, that were really, really phenomenal. But a lot of legendary shows there, people uh, remember. Beer Fest was there, oh man. People had fun at that uh, at that Rose Arts Festival. Let me tell you, this light is notoriously short. Literally, okay, a guy in front of me just went through a red light. I mean, whatever. Who can blame him? I mean, I'm not advocating it. I'm just, you know, this is a ridiculously short light. Okay, a young woman with a dog gonna be walking right in front of me. All right, I got a green light. I'm going to take a right. This Blackwell Apartments. Or I'm, I'm sorry, Blackstone Apartments right in front of me. Let's take a left down this little... Uh, actually, this is Lincoln Avenue. No, this is an important street. The house directly in front of me was it burned down and they rehabbed it a few years ago. The guy that did it did a phenomenal job. I mean, he deserves an award. I don't know, I don't know his name. I don't know who it is, but... It's really an award-winning restoration. This is uh, Lincoln Avenue, very historic homes up and down here. A lot of, you know, back in the day, I mean, you know, doctors, really prominent people, that surgeons and, and, and CEOs and everything lived down here. Uh, doctors, big doctors at Bacchus Hospital. And, you know, this is where they lived back in the early 1900s. I mean, these big Victorian houses and, you know, they very prominent people. Now, I mean, a lot of them are, have been uh, kind of diced up a little bit into uh, kind of multi-family homes, but uh, they're really beautiful houses. I mean, just to take a walk up and down uh, 
Lincoln Avenue to look at the homes. It's, I, I say it's worth your time. I'm gonna take a ride onto Oniko Street. And then, uh, if I'm not mistaken, William Street's gonna be up on my uh, on my right. Yeah, let's go up Williams. It's very similar to uh, it's very similar to Lincoln Avenue. Yeah, they're almost indistinguishable. Beautiful houses. Built many in the early 1900s. Some probably late 1800s, I would guess. And a lot of prominent people in Norwich, uh, historically, lived in these houses. Matter of fact, I used to, Dr. Quintley Annie, he was. Uh, He's a legendary doctor. I, I believe he's uh, he's deceased now, but Dr. Quintley Annie is probably considered one of the greatest doctors in the history of Norwich. Um, I mean, I'll go on record as, as stating that fact. He used to live down there, and when he retired, he, he kind of semi-retired. I went to him a few times because um, I wasn't feeling well or whatever. And, you know, he treated you in his home. It, it, was, a, it was really, I, you know, I, I don't want to use the term mansion, but it was a, an absolutely beautiful, probably Victorian style, I, I guess, uh, home. And he was the nicest man. He, he worked up well into his 80s. I think his wife did the bookkeeping, but he did a such a great job, you know. I mean, the guy delivered me, you know. He, he a long, illustrious career. But he lived on Lincoln Avenue. I mean, like I say, all the prominent, uh, you know, wealthy top people in Norwich lived on Lincoln Avenue and William Street. All right, we got some uh, businesses down here. Directly in front of us, we have... Phillies, a taste of Philadelphia, voted number one sandwich in America. Okay, that's nice. Norwich Family Dental on the right. They're my dentist. Best dentist in uh, Norwich. Probably the best dentist in Connecticut. Period. Game over. I mean, nobody w likes going to the dentist, but, man, they are the best in that place. You go in there, you're... You don't care. You're relaxing. It's no problem. They treat you like a king. The place is immaculate. And if you need a dentist, I mean, you know, I'm not, this isn't a commercial, but man, that's your guy over there. There's a, several dentists in there. They're all good. This is a Lafayette Dental on my right. I don't know a thing about them. Um, I'm going to pull into Yannick Cemetery. This is an e extremely important cemetery that was established July 12, 1844. Uh, there's senators buried in here. There's famous people from the Civil War. There's Civil War generals buried in here. Um, I mean, this is monumentally important with regards to the history of Norwich. Um, and the surrounding area, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do a full sweep of this cemetery. I mean, okay, the road's a little bumpy. I mean, has to be expected, but flags are at half staff. Um, I think there's people from. I, I could be wrong. I think there's a, a former vice president maybe buried in here. I, I don't know. I mean, you hear things. You know, you live in Norwich, and you hear all kind of all kind of rumor. I don't know rumors or you know stories, folklore, whatever. 
they do periodic tours, you know, professional tours with a tour guide of the cemetery. I'm sure, you know, if you get a chance, you might want to check that out. I have not had the luxury yet of doing that, but I plan to in the future. Um, some of the monuments are a bit ostentatious, but most of them are rel relatively conservative, I would say. Um, a lot of people, you know, laid out some pretty big money for some of these uh, really large monuments back in, you know, the 1800s. Let's see, let me get some dates. Yeah, this gentleman here, John Parker, he was born in 1807, he died in 1882. This, uh, this cemetery's been here for a while. They don't make them like they used to, I'll not say that. You know, there's the names here, Case in Norwich, Case Street, uh, Bacchus, you know. These are Brewer, there's just some of the names, I mean, iconic Norwich names. Hawkins, let's see what else we can, let's see if we can get a gander, Cranston, I mean there's a, there's a Norwich name for you, Cranston, what else do we have, Perkins, Browning, um, Rogers, Lamb, Goodspeed, Hoxie. You know, there's heart-shaped uh, configurations in the ground. I mean, they knew how to do it back in the day, let me tell you. When we're putting, uh, when we're putting this place together, they did it right. There's a, there's a knowledge name for you, Osgood. That's a big one, yeah, Osgood, that giant monument, Osgood. It's a very famous uh, copper, um, it's a woman, it's a, it's a figure of a woman leaning over and it was stolen a while back, Slater to my left by the way, and that monument was stolen a while back and after you know several months, maybe a year, it was discovered and restored and returned to its uh, original location. And it's there right now. I just drove by it. There's some damage to some of the monuments up here. There's no question. I mean, they're you know from the 1800s. They've been through blizzards and harsh winters and you know hot summers and everything. And I I don't think there's been any. I mean, I'm not seeing any specific vandalism or anything. I mean, I guess that's always a possibility, but. Man, this is a bumpy road. I hope this, uh, hope this camera doesn't, I uh, hope the video is okay here, folks. Let's see, Elizabeth Green, William Green, another, you know, iconic Norwich family. Duchette, to my left, Green Bank, Rouse. Uh, I'm just reading off the names, it's just random stuff. Avery, you know, Witter, Parker. Um, Gordon, Marcy, Volkman, Troger, let's see here, Gardner, Kubler, Williams, Ramage, Andrews, I'm just, I'm, whatever I see, I'm just going to try to Woodward, there's another, Bacchus, Loomis, Allen, Hempstead, Fuller, Burnham, I mean, you know, Hewitt, Gear. we're talking some, you know, this is, uh, this is a place, if you're, you, if you have any interest in history, you'd have a field day down at this, uh, at this cemetery. 
This is a guy to my right, born in 1857. His name was Joseph Hero. Joseph Hero, H-E-R-O. All right, I'm getting greedy. I'm going to take another little sweep up this uh, one more, one more shot of this. Uh, some of the names in this cemetery: Carter, Lanz, L-A-N-Z, Hopkins, Evans, Baker, Gleason, Treadway. Um, okay, Woodmansey, Halsey, J uh, Jonah Pope, that's another name, I can't, okay, I gotta, I think I kind of blocking my uh, exit over there, that's all right, we'll cover more territory. Um, let's take a look, what are the names we have here? We have Russell. The Russell family. Several stones in the Russell um, area. Sutcliffe, or excuse me, Sutliffe, S U T L I F F. What a beautiful place. I mean, the trees, it's really incredible back here. Morgan, Tucker. Um. This one's a little tough to read. Otis. <laughs> okay, there you go. Otis Library. Um, Bushnell. Armstrong. A lot of Otis down in this area. Okay, well. <laughs> it's about as knowledge as it gets. Borthwick. Web, and that's uh I mean I could do a full movie on that that cemetery on its own, but we we gotta cover more territory we gotta cover some more of the n f a area, and this is a tricky spot to get out of. You can see to the right clearly, but to the left, there's a big wall, I mean it's not that tall, but it's you know. It's high enough where it's difficult to, to take a left out of there. All right, there's a wellness and acupuncture studio back there to my right. I'm on Lafayette Street, and I'm turning right, and I'm going to go down. This is Mill Lane. I didn't know that, but I know it now. Okay, there's a hearing, some form of business down there here called Hearing Life. I I would assume they sell hearing aids. Um, let's take a right down Clinic Drive. There used to be a lot of doctor's offices down here. Um, probably still is, for that matter. I don't know. Seems to be a building on my left that's kind of empty. Uh, I don't know. These parking lots seem a bit empty. Now, what is this? Waterford Country School, Foster Care and Connecticut Adoption Services, Children's Outpatient Mental Health Clinic. All right. Didn't know that. And there's a building in front of us. It says 5 Clinic Drive, Jan J. Akis, M.D., Dr. Akis. And what else is over there? Advanced Orthodontics. Okay. Fanning Avenue. Let's take a ride up Fanning Avenue. Really nice houses on Fanning Avenue. Home on my left for sale. Some thank you signs. Okay, Zephyr Street to my right. And let's take a, Okay, this fanning kind of continues. Linden Parkway is back there to my right. This is Fanning Avenue. There's another little one way street called Lambert Parkway. Parkway to my right. I'm not going to go up there because I I'll have to back out and it's kind of tricky. All right, this brings us back out to Washington Street. To my right is the uh, Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox 
church. It's a beautiful church. Um, I'm going to wait a second here. Really take my time. All right. That's a beautiful church, Greek Orthodox Church. I wonder if I can take a ride through there. Is it blocked off? No, let's let's take a drive back there. And get a look behind the church. I was in there once. I went to a wedding there and uh It was one of the most beautiful churches uh, that I've ever been in in Norwich. I mean, it was it was striking. If, if you ever get a chance to, you know, stick your head in the door, or maybe go to a service there. Um, I think you'll be amazed at how beautiful it is in there. The building is maintained absolutely beautifully. All right, for me to take a left here is going to be uh, close to impossible. Should I do it? Nah, let's go right. Let's go up this dead end. Washington, I don't even know the name of this street. What is this thing? Washington, it just says Washington. <laughs> Okay. I've never been up here before. It's a dead end, so I don't know what we're going to find. Is it a long street or is it like a real short? All right, there's my answer. It's a short little street. I got to I got to back out of here now. That's all right. We could do that. We want to cover a lot of territory in the NFA area in Norwich, Connecticut. And this is part of it, so. By the way, as a sign on my right, says no parking during winter snowstorms. Makes sense. So this is Washington. It's not, it's not Washington Street. The sign simply says Washington. All right, let's take another right. We'll get on Beach Drive. As far as I know, and I've lived in this city of Norwich my entire life, I've never been up Beach Drive. This is another dead end, so I have no idea what I'm getting myself into here, folks. Okay. I could be on somebody's driveway for all I know. Wow, it's a big multi-family house back here. It's a narrow road. I sincerely hope nobody is coming down this uh, this hill. This is, whoa, this is a straight up hill. I don't know. Beach Drive, Norwich, Connecticut, NFA area. It's a very, very windy, snaky road. I mean, okay, when I get up here and turn around, it'll be kind of a cool view. That's That'll be worth it. As long as somebody doesn't come out and complain that I'm driving on their property, which I don't know. I mean, this is, uh, I hope there's a decent turnaround situation up here. Um, well, this is the end of the road. Really nice house up here. Never been up here. It's really cool. Very isolated. It has a, uh, you know, it's kind of a country atmosphere, but you're way, way up at the top of a hill that I didn't even realize was here. And now, as we descend, that's cool. The gentleman in front of me has got an old Victorian house with a built-in swimming pool. That's cool. All right. Hopefully we can get some views coming down this uh, big, windy, snaky road here. Wow, we're up here.
Nice uh, Cape style home directly in front of us. Seems to be a newer home. Beautiful lawn. All right, I'm glad I did it. It's the first time I was on that street, and it's well worth the well worth the time taking the drive. Beach Drive. Let's do a little more exploring. Okay, we're officially entering Norwich Town right now. We just crossed the threshold into Norwich Town. I don't want to spend too much time. I don't want to get too far away from NFA, let's put it that way. Um, yeah. All right, I, I'm going to take a left down here. Bacchus Hospital. So we're in a hospital zone right now. Bacchus Hospital is to my left. Let's see if I can get lucky and get this uh, green light before it turns red. All right. We made it. It's Bacchus Hospital, a lot of cars. It's a Tuesday, so uh, the place is packed. Doctor's office is on my left. Too many to name. Dentist, speech therapist, you name it. Utley and Jones Pharmacy, it's been there forever. Okay, I don't know. I, it dates back. I was a child and Utley and Jones was there. Okay, so on Lafayette Street right now. I'm going to cover more uh, territory. The Yannick Cemetery again to my right. Incredible. Doctor's offices to the left and right, dental. I mean, it's just, they're everywhere. You know, there's a hospital close by, so obviously. Restaurants to my left and right. All right, I'm going to have to get on Sachem again. We're, uh, you know, sometimes we got to go over territory more than once. But let's see, I'm, I'm here, let's, let's make it worth our while. There's an acupuncturist to our right. There is Church and Allen uh, Funeral Home. All right. It's an important landmark. To my right is the Ark, Eastern Connecticut, um, the Ark Center of Eastern Connecticut. I'm not 100% sure what that establishment uh, deals with, but it's a well-kept building, and uh, it looks to be uh, a very respectable business. Okay, now I'm going to pull into this little parking area, and then I'll back up, but I'm going to give you a good shot of the church in Allen funeral home. There it is. It's been recently rehabilitated. I remember it to be a white building, and now it seems to be, um, I don't know, fresh, freshly sided and painted with a new roof and beautiful air conditioning system, and Really, really nice. All right, let's jump back out on Sachem and cover some more territory in the NFA area. All right, let's take a left. I don't even know the name of this street. Let's find out. It's behind a tree. If I can see the name, Unca Street. There's the Chiropractic Center of Norwich, focused on wellness. A lot of cars there at the moment. Okay, this brings us back to Lincoln Avenue. All right, I'll get on the full length of this Uncas Street, which, if I'm not mistaken, will bring me to William Street. I mean, it just gives you a better look at a lot of the houses in the area. 
incredible. Wow, the person in the home in front of us has a big sign out front. It says RBG, uh, Supreme Court Justice uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg died recently, maybe a week or two ago, and uh, that home is paying tribute to her service to the nation. And we're back on Williams Street. Starting to get really, really overcast. Um, could we get a rain shower? Maybe. Maybe not. I'd be shocked to see rain. I mean, again, as I said earlier, this drought is uh, has been devastating. And we need more rain more than anything right now. I'm actually seeing a few droplets on my windshield, so hopefully it doesn't mess up the uh, lens on the camera. It's waterproof, but still, it could uh, distort the image. Let's go down Norton Court, part of the NFA area. Nor Norton Court is a dead end. So I guess when I get down the end of Norton Court, I'm going to have to make a real sharp turn. And I'll do it right here. That's Norton Court. Straight ahead of me is a Really incredible piece of architecture. It's a home. It was for sale recently. Apparently it sold. I don't see a sign out there. Um, slate roof. I mean, man, they don't they don't make them like they used to. Let's see what else we got down here. All right, another dead end to my right. This is called Taylor Drive. Take a little ride down Taylor Drive. Nice street. Appears that they have natural gas available down here. No, which is uh, really extended the natural gas pipeline as far as I can. Beautiful houses down here. Look at that brick. I love brick. Nice big brick house. It's a home for sale right down the end here. Right there. Nice location down the end of a dead end street, no through traffic. So it's going to be real quiet. And this is a seller's market right now. I mean, September of 2020 in at least eastern Connecticut. Mark this on your calendar because homes are flying off the market for prices that are, <laughs> shall we say, elevated. Okay, I mean, that's the state of the real real estate situation as we speak. Now, a couple of weeks from now, things could change. A couple of months, thing, everything could be different. But at the moment, as cars uh, slowly pass by, the real estate market in Norwich, Connecticut is red smoking hot now if you're a buyer you're probably going to pay a little bit more so let's take a right eh, I'm going to take a left That's a, I, 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 this is a little change of plans take a left a broad street congregation of uh, brothers of Joseph to my left is a big synagogue beautiful beautiful uh, synagogue. I'm going to take a right up Cedar Street. Buckingham School used to be to my right. I can't really pull in there. I'll give you a, I'll try to swing the car. I can't do it. There's a sidewalk there, but uh, I'll figure out a way to get you a look at what used to be Buckingham School. If you went there as a kid and you know, you're all nostalgic and uh, 
you know, kind of sentimental and you want to look at your your old school, it's gone. But I'll point the camera if I can at the area that the school used to be located on. I'm on Slater Avenue, by the way. I'm going to take a left right now. Be really, really careful around here. Traffic. Okay. All right. Now, Elmwood Avenue. I'm going to take a left and go up Elmwood Avenue. There's a guy mowing his lawn, and it's straight up. I hope the camera grabs some of that. That's kind of cool. All right. We're going up Elmwood Avenue. Really nice homes again. Beautiful front porches and. Homes constructed in the early, uh, you know, 1920s and everything. All right, straight ahead used to be, uh, that's where Buckingham School was. I'll point the car. I'm going to swing it ever so slightly to the left. There you go. That used to be the location of Buckingham School. It's not there anymore. Let's take a right. And we're going to go down a street by the name of Green Avenue. And there's a really cool building on Green Avenue. There's a lot of cool houses on Green Avenue, but uh, if memory serves me, yeah, there it is on the right. It's a brick. I don't even know if I can turn in here. Let's see. It's called, it says Private Drive. James Law Lloyd Green Condominiums. Private Drive. So, should I pull in here? Probably not. But anyways, there you go. I hope. <laughs> it's a wide-angle lens. Hopefully you can kind of get a glimpse. Maybe I can turn around here and get, get another look at this thing. Yeah, there's a, there's a big garage back here. I don't know. I, you know. Maybe it was a former school or something whatever you know whatever it was it was an it's an impressive building really impressive i've always loved it you know apartments condos let's see if i can swing around i'm, I'm pretty close you know it's a wide angle lens but it's only going to get you so much Just let me see if i can get to the edge here give you a kind of a view of the I guess they used to be part of Buckingham School's ball field or playground or, you know, whatever. Looking down at Washington Street. And I don't know. This is a, Like I said, it's a wide-angle lens on this camera, but uh, I'm in pretty tight. Hopefully you can see some of that building. That brick building is beautiful. The James Lloyd Green Condominiums. And we will finish going down Green Avenue. Ladies and gentlemen, it is autumn. Sometimes known as fall. And the leaves are coming down in buckets. Again, a result of the drought. A little early for leaves to be coming down in, in, in this, uh, in this, you know, the the abundance. But the drought is causing the leaves to come down a little early. Yeah, I'm starting to hear a few raindrops. Um, ladies and gentlemen, it's starting to rain, and I'm going to abruptly conclude this video. Um, some NFA jogging joggers down there to my right. It would have been interesting if it wasn't raining. It'll be interesting to see what uh, I capture in the rain, but again, I'm going to conclude the video right now. 
Thanks for joining me, folks.